What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to this video tutorial. So guys, in this tutorial we will cover how to resize the storage of the Amazon ECS macOS instance so that it can match the size of the EBS volume that we have assigned while launching an instance, right? So let's get started. So here as you can see on my screen, I have this instance that is mac1.metal and if you click on the storage, then as you can see here I have assigned or given 150 GB of size, right? So now the thing is that here I have this instance, I have took the GUI access of this instance via VNC server, right? So if you want to know or if you want to learn more about that, then the link of that video is in the video description, right? So now here if I click on about this Mac and navigate to storage then it says 11 GB available of 32 GB right so it's not reflecting that 150 GB of size but if we look over here then it says external 161 GB solid state PCI express drive right so it's not reflecting basically and it's not allowing us to use the rest of the free space so for that what we need to do is we need to resize the container right so even if i show you via disk utility so here uh, click on view and say show all devices and click on this amazon elastic block so here we have internal and external storage so internal is basically 121 gb right and then we have amazon elastic block store media right so click on that and say partition and click on partition again now here as you can see we have 129 GB of free space and we have 32 GB used or allocated right now we want to allocate this 129 GB to this HD right we want to extend this partition so how we can do that so as I mentioned we need to resize the container right so let me cancel this now here we have a container saying container disk 2 and if we look at the capacity then it says 32 GB and we have only 11.86 GB free right so we need to resize this container basically. So now open the terminal, right? So this is the same terminal that uh, we get while we SSH into this instance. So to perform this operation, you don't need to have the GUI access of the uh, Mac OS system, right? You can directly SSH into the instance and get started with this, right? So the very first command that we are going to execute is disk util list disk util list right so this will basically list all the uh, storage uh, or the all the partition right so here we have slash dev slash disk zero that is internal we are not going to touch this one right and then we have slash dev slash disk one that says basically external comma physical right so we are going to uh, use this or modify this right so here we have guid partition scheme that says size 161 gb and the identifier is disk one right and then we have efi that is of 209 mb and then we have apple apfs container now this is the container that we want to resize so its size is basically 32 gb and it is identified as disk 1s2 right so here uh, we need to perform two steps one is to repair disk right so which disk we need to repair is the root uh, disk right that is disk one so let's do that first so we will say disk util repair disk followed by slash dev slash disk one right so make sure uh, the reference that is slash dev slash disk one refers to the external comma physical right so say enter now it will prompt you for the repairing the partition might erase disk one as one do you want to proceed so you might want to take the backup first and then proceed with this right so say yes and say enter now this command is executed or ran successfully right now the last step is to resize the container so let me clear this first and again say disk util list Now here uh, to resize the container we will say disk util space apfs space resize container right we want to resize the container which container 
so we need to mention the identifier over here that is in disk 1s2 so we will say disk 1s2 right and we will say 0 now here you can explicitly mention how much you want to grow let's say from 32 GB to 40 GB so you can mention something like this but if you want to grow the disk to fit right that is whatever free space is available consume that and grow the container of that size then you need to mention zero so zero will perform grow to fit operation right so you can explicitly mention the size in GB or you can say zero and say enter now it's extending the container or maybe resizing the container so it will take some time to do that so let's wait so now as you can see the resizing of the container is successful right so now let's clear this and say this util list once again and we will be able to see that apple apfs container disk 2 has the size of 160.9 gb right uh, which was earlier 32 gb right so if i show you over here so here it is it was 32 gb now it has been resized to 161 gb right so basically this is how you can resize your container and consume all the free space right now if i even go to this about this mac and look at the storage then it says 140 gb available of 160 gb or 161 gb right so as i mentioned you can also run this command to resize the container by doing ssh into an instance you don't need to connect via vnc or you don't need this gui access to do that right so well guys that's all for this tutorial and as usual if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next